In this video, I'll show you the eight most essential Excel functions to take you from beginner to pro. Let's dive in. So first, we have the SUMIF function. The SUMIF function sums values in a specified range based on a single condition or criteria. In this example, we have category in column A, subcategory in B, and the sales in column C. Say we just wanted to sum sales for furniture. We do equal SUMIF, our range, column A, our criteria, furniture, you just select this cell right here, and our sum range would be column C. And we can see that our total sales for furniture is 2,864.41 cents. Next, we have the count if function. Count if is a lot like sum if, but instead of summing the cells, we're counting the number of cells within a given range that meet a specified condition. So here in this example, we have a table with order ID, ship mode, and sum of sales. Now say we just wanted to count the number of orders that had the same day ship mode category. We would do equals count if, and our range would be column B, and our criteria would be same day. I'm just gonna select cell E1 here. Press enter, and we can see that there were 264 orders that have the same day ship mode criteria. Next, we have if error. The if error function returns a specified value if there is an error, or it returns the original value if there is no error. In this example, we have month, profit, sales, and say we want our profit ratio. To get our profit ratio, we would divide sales by profit, turn that into a percentage, we're gonna drag down and press Control D. So we could see that we get this error message returned. Now that doesn't look very nice. Say instead we just want the cell to return as blank. To do that, we would wrap our original formula in the if error statement. We'll go to the formula bar here, type in if error, we'll have our original formula as the value, comma, and to return a blank text, we can just put quotations, close parentheses, press enter. Nothing changes in this formula, but if we drag this down and hit control D, boom, we get blanks for every cell that doesn't have a value. And now our table looks much cleaner. Next, we're gonna cover the string functions left, right, and mid. These are string functions that return a specified number of characters from a given string. Very useful for data cleaning. So in this example, we just have one column, order ID. And say we're given the objective to return only some specified characters based on certain criteria. Let's start off with left. Left extracts from the beginning of the text string. So say we just wanted to return the first two characters from order ID. To achieve that, we do equals left, our text, to cell A2, and the number of characters starting from the beginning of the text string. So that would be two. Hit enter and we have CA for our result. The right function extracts characters from the end of the text string. So say we just wanted to return these last six characters here. To do that, very similar to left, we do equals, write, our text, and then the number of characters starting from the end of our text string. So that would be six characters, hit enter, we have the last six characters. Lastly, we have the mid function. Mid extracts a specified number of characters from a text string starting at a specified position. So in this example, say we just wanna return these middle four characters, which in this case would be the year. We would do equals mid our text, comma, the starting number. So that means the character number in the text string. So if we want it to begin it at two, that's the fourth character in the text string. So we're gonna do comma four, and then the number of characters we want returned is also four. So we'll do comma four, enter, and we get our values. Jump down to the bottom, control shift up, control D, and we can copy that formula all the way down. Next, we'll look at the concatenate function. The concatenate function combines multiple text, string, or values from different columns into one column. So in this example, we have a table with all of our customers. Column A is first name, column B is last name. So say we wanna combine those columns to have the full name in a single cell. To do this, we would type in equals concatenate our first text, which is Aaron, comma, to have a space in between the two values, we would do quotation, space quotation that'll give us a space in between the two names comma our second text or according to this our third text which would be bergman enter here we have the full name aaron bergman same as before control down to go to the end 
control shift up and control D to copy that all the way down. And there we have a complete full name column. The final function we'll look at is the XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP is probably one of the most essential functions you can learn in Excel. For most roles, it's the function you're gonna use more than any other. I know in my experience, I've used this function a ton. The XLOOKUP function searches for a value in a column or row from one table and returns a corresponding value from another table. Very useful if you're trying to get information from a different tab in the same worksheet or a different table in the same workbook. It works very similarly to how joins work in SQL. In this example, we have two tables. One table has our category, subcategory, and all of our orders. In our second table, we have category, subcategory, and the discount for each of our subcategories. Now say in our first table, we wanted to pull in the discount information that we don't currently have in that table. We can use the XLOOKUP function to get it from our second table. To do so, we type equals XLOOKUP. Our lookup value is what we're looking up the data for. So in this case, bookcases, our subcategory, comma, the lookup array, is gonna be the column with the same information in our other table, so our joining information. So again, subcategory. We'll highlight all of column G, comma, and our return array is the value we wanna return from our second table into our first table, which is the discount information. We highlight column H, hit enter, and we've pulled in the discount information from our second table into our first table in column D. To copy this formula down to the entire column, you can jump down here with control down, jump over a cell, control up, control D, and we've pulled the formula into all of our cells. And that's how we can effectively use XLOOKUP to return values using joining information from each of our tables. There's a ton of use cases for this formula, so it's definitely one that you wanna get comfortable with. And there you have it, eight essential functions to make you a next level Excel user. There's certainly plenty of other skills to know in Excel like pivot tables, charting, macros, but as far as formulas go, these ones are key. Be sure to check out the link below for my free skills tracker for a comprehensive list of all the Excel skills that every analyst should know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.